Son Heung-min star is still rising in football, but he's already huge in his home country. One of their biggest stars, as there's even an entire show dedicated to him which goes over his highlights while playing for Spurs, game in, game out. But his route to football was a bit unorthodox, not playing with any teams until he was a teenager. Hey there, I'm Adrian from Robona TV, and in this bio on Son Hyung Min, we'll look at his origins, the interesting training methods his father used on him, and his time in professional football, of course. Let's go! Son Hyung Min was born on July 8, 1992, in Chuncheon in the Gangwon province of South Korea. His father, Son Woon Jung, was also a professional football player in South Korea, even making the under 23 national side, but an Achilles injury forced him to quit, and he focused on becoming a trainer instead. Son Hyung Min's father made sure his boy put in the work to have a shot at a professional career in football. He says that his father pushed him extremely hard. Quote, he was a very tough coach, and still is now. He'd always say that you had to work hard, you had to be professional, but without his tough training, I wouldn't be here. For four hours, I would juggle the ball. Can you imagine four hours? After two hours, the floor looks like a roller coaster. You start to see three balls. They were crazy memories for me. But it wasn't just Son Hyung Min who was pushed by his father though, as he also has an older brother named Son Hyung Yoon, who took a shot at professional football as well. He never came close to the heights of his younger brother, of course, most who take a shot at it don't make it that far, but he's still involved in football as he is a coach at the football academy that Hyung Min and Hyung Yoon's father owns in Chuncheon. But Hyung Min's brother says that they got into football at quite a late age, making his come up even more impressive. When Hyung Min was just turning 10 years old, they went to a few matches for the 2002 World Cup, and from then on, it was his dream to represent Korea in a World Cup. So, starting at 10 years old is late by most standards, where top European clubs start signing youngsters as young as 5 to their academies. But according to Hyung Min's brother Hyung Yun, as he spoke to CBBC, quote, Hyung Min was like a sponge with sports. Everything he tried, he picked up quickly. Because we had a really strict dad when we were young, training wasn't fun. We were required to have a lot of concentration. What's even more impressive is that according to Hyung Yun, their father didn't let them play in any matches or join any teams until they were both almost teenagers. Echoing what Hyung Min said about the juggling drills, Hyung Yun says, quote, It was relentlessly repetitive, so we were a bit bored. I was a bit rebellious, so I had a bit of trouble with dad at times, but in Hyung Min's case, he followed the program obediently. I think that's why he's in London, and I'm here in Chuncheon. I think about that sometimes. But before London, how did Hyung Min end up in Europe? Well, it went something like this. In 2008, German clubs Hamburg and Nuremberg struck up a deal with the South Korean Football Association in which they would give academy trials to three promising South Korean players. Talent scout Thijs Bleimeister spotted Son as one of the players that German clubs should consider. Hamburg gave a 16-year-old Son Hyung Min a trial year as he left his father's training methods in Chuncheon in exchange for an opportunity in Europe, and upon arriving in Germany, he immediately started integrating himself into German life in Hamburg's academy, which he went through alongside current Arsenal defender Shkodran Mustafi. Just a tidbit there. Son says that adapting to the life, language, and culture in Germany was extremely difficult, but at least his adaptation to the football came quite easily. Remember, he had barely played any team football back in South Korea, just individual drills with his father, but those drills ensured that technique-wise, Son was a cut above the rest, even at just 16 years of age. Son was the only one of the three South Koreans that actually signed on with Hamburg's academy, and after a couple seasons there, he found himself in the first team squad for the 2010-2011 preseason, where he was excelling and even scoring more goals than the likes of Ruud van Nistelrooy and Mladen Petric, established figures in football. Unfortunately for Son, however, after scoring what was the eventual winner in a preseason friendly against Chelsea, he broke his foot. Luckily, it wasn't a bad break, and Son returned to the senior team in October to make his debut. And so, upon returning to the first team from his injury, he was handed his first Bundesliga appearance on October 30th, 2010, against FC Köln. In the 24th minute, he was played through, dinked the ball over the keeper, and slotted it home into the empty goal for his first goal in his first appearance. That goal made him the youngest Hamburg player to score in the Bundesliga, beating the record that was formerly held by Manfred Kaltz, which had stood since 1971. In his first season, he scored three goals in 14 appearances and received some high praise from Ruud van Nistelrooy. Quote, After one training session, you can see that he's something special. Son is the future. 
HSV will have a lot of fun with him. He is young, has a good head on his shoulders, and at 18 years old is already decisive in the Bundesliga. It's already outstanding how he has established himself, but he will still develop further. Unfortunately, his second season was a tough one and a bit forgettable as Son dealt with injuries and Hamburg dealt with the possibility of getting relegated. But in the end, Son managed 5 goals from 27 appearances, including a winner against Hanover 96, which ensured Hamburg would remain in the Bundesliga for another season. And that season, the 2012-13 season, would be an impressive one. Son scored 12 goals, more than doubling his best season's tally, including a total of four across two matches against Jurgen Klopp's Borussia Dortmund. But it was another top club in Germany, Bayer Leverkusen, that were convinced into buying the South Korean after his 12-13 performance, paying a reported fee of 10 million euros for his signature, and he didn't disappoint, especially when coming face to face with his former team Hamburg on November 9th, 2013, in which the 21-year-old Son scored a hat-trick in a 5-3 win. But he also helped Bayer Leverkusen in an unexpected way. At 10 million euros, Son was Leverkusen's most expensive signing at the time, and with the club struggling to find a new shirt sponsor, the financial situation was in dire straits. But about a month and a half after signing Son, whose reputation had grown immeasurably back in South Korea following his success with Hamburg, Leverkusen signed a three-year advertising deal with one of South Korea's biggest electronics companies, LG. Apparent financial aid aside, his goals also helped the club to a top 4 finish during the 2013-14 season to clinch a spot in the UEFA Champions League, and in the 2014-15 campaign, he provided 5 goals on European conquest. In total that season, he scored a career-high 17 goals from 42 appearances, which was enough to force Tottenham to sign the South Korean star. But that wasn't the first time that Spurs manager Mauricio Pochettino had tried to sign Son, as he tried to bring him to the Premier League earlier when he was still coaching Southampton. But once Pochettino had moved to Spurs, he hadn't moved on from Son, and he brought him to the club for a reported fee of 30 million euros, making him the most expensive Asian player of all time. More expensive than Hidetoshi Nakata when he switched Roma for Parma 14 years earlier. As a player who could play on the left, right, or behind the striker, he's direct, a threat on the counter, and two-footed, you can see why he'd caught the attention of Pochettino and how he would fit into their squad. His first ever Premier League goal was scored against Crystal Palace on September 20th, 2015, but his first season saw him in and out of the starting lineup and scoring just four goals in the league, his lowest tally since his first season with Hamburg. In fact, Son has been open about how he wanted to go back to Germany after his first season with Spurs. Despite that, Pochettino convinced him to stay and Son has been integral to Spurs ever since, going on to score 60 goals from the 2016-17 season to the end of the 2018-19 season. And speaking of the 2018-19 season, Son won every single end of season award for Spurs, including goal of the season, where he undressed David Luiz on an incredible solo run, then he picked up the player of the season awards, various ones including the vote from the fans, vote from his teammates, etc. Now I'm sure you're well aware of how big of a talent Son has turned out to be with his time at Spurs and before that in the Bundesliga, but all the while he's had something looming over his head, threatening to put his career on pause, military service. All male South Koreans must serve in the military for 21 months before they turn 28. There are some exceptions. For Korean athletes, bringing a sporting title to their country, whether that's an individual title or as part of a national team, will ensure that they are exempt from their 21 months of service as their sporting achievements are viewed as a service to the country. Son came close to attaining his exemption during the 2015 Asian Cup in Australia, in which South Korea made it to the finals. After going a goal down, Son leveled to send the match to extra time, but the Australians found a winner to take the tournament on their home soil. No luck that time. At the 2016 Olympics in Rio, Son again represented his country knowing that any medal, gold, silver, or bronze would get the squad their military exemption, but unfortunately for the South Koreans, Son missed many an opportunity in their quarterfinals match against Honduras, and they bowed out of the Olympics. Son was inconsolable for days, even refusing to eat apparently, and the disappointment of not guaranteeing the military service exemption, plus the disappointing opening season at Tottenham, which I'd alluded to earlier, added fuel to the fire that Son wanted to return to Germany, but of course, that never happened. Next came the 2018 World Cup, where while the Koreans were again eliminated at the group stage, they played a part in eliminating defending champions Germany with a 2-0 victory, and Son scored the goal to seal it in the 97th minute. Before that, he also scored a banger against Mexico. 
but that's just an aside. Because in the 2018 Asian Games, that provided yet another opportunity for Son. Captaining the side, which is made up of under 23 players, but like the Olympics, allows for a few players outside of the age restriction, Son led South Korea to the final against Japan. In a back and forth match that ended 0-0, Son provided the assist for both of South Korea's goals in extra time, winning 2-1, securing the gold medal, and also ensuring that the entire squad would be exempt from their military service. Spurs fans, rejoice. Imagine the pressure of not only representing your country, but knowing that if you don't win, your career would be put on hold for 21 months. With Son entering what seems like the prime of his career now, proving to be one of Spurs' most important players and one of the top talents in the Premier League, it would have been a shame to see him duck out for almost two years. But thankfully, all those long hours spent juggling the ball and running tirelessly for his father, then learning the tactical side of the game in Germany before truly blossoming into a lethal attacker under Pochettino, all contributed to ensuring that Son won't be taking a vacation from football anytime soon. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We have a lot more player bios in the playlist linked below, but other than that, that's it. I'm Adrian, this is Rabona TV, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.